Today, ladies and gents, I'm going to show you how to uh, create your own named colors in uh, any of the Zara products. Uh, and these named colors you're going to be able to take with you um, going forward to any new, um, any new projects that you start. So um, I've talked about these several times in my past videos and, and using these named linked colors. And I'm going to show you how to create them today. Um, now, I did these myself for uh, for my projects and what I did and I'll show you here really quick is I created another um, layer named named colors and if I highlight that you can see that I have a few named colors on that layer and if I make this visible and scroll over here to the side here are my named colors now the ones in the middle are the main colors and the ones out to each side are the linked ones now I'm going to go ahead and hide that again so there's no need to show it. And uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and create a couple boxes. Yeah. And I'm going to hit Control K and clone that and scroll it over. I went ahead and pre-did these these lines. You don't have to do this. Uh, the guidelines. Um, it just helped me out for uh, for knowing how to space things for the video. All right, so the first thing I want to do is bring up my color editor. Now I'm going to go ahead and make that this blue, more or less. And that's not exactly what I want. I'm going to go ahead and bump that up into this top uh, left-hand corner. Uh, and then for, and then I'm going to do the same over here, but I'm going to take this down. Whoops. For this one, I'm going to take it down the side. Yeah. And then for this one, I'm going to go ahead and give it that light color, but I'm going to make it even lighter, almost white. So I'm about maybe 80 to 90 percent away uh, across the, the top here for the light color, and for the bottom color or the darker color I'm more or less 80 to 90 percent down the way to the to the black <coughs> okay now that I've done that I want to go ahead and grab these two I'm going to drag select both of those and I'm going to use this um, this blend tool and I'm going to just click on one of those boxes and drag it across to the other and that's going to create a blend in between now I've got five steps in between you can change that to whatever you want uh, you could change it to three if you wanted to, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and grab and highlight that one box again and drag it across to the darker one and do it again. Now, as you can see, I have a huge variety of colors now along this, uh, this line from light to medium, medium to dark. Exactly what I want. Uh, now, this is all one blend on... Uh, the mouse off layer. Yeah, so I need to change that slightly. So I'm going to hit arrange, convert to editable shapes or control shift S. Yeah, and now it's one group on mouse off layer. Yeah, and then arrange, ungroup, and now I have 13 shapes on the mouse off layer. So now what I want to do is bring back up my video editor or color editor, sorry. And pick my medium shape. It's easy to tell which one this is because I've I put these uh, guidelines on. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that shape, and the first thing I want to do is click on this name tag button here, and I'm going to name this shape. And so we'll call this um, <clears throat> theme color three. Yeah, because I have theme color one and two already created here. You can name this whatever you want. Uh, um, color blend, whatever, it doesn't matter what you call it, um, as long as you name it something. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create, and now that is theme color 3. Now the next thing I'm going to do is do a similar step for each of these other colors. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and name this color. Actually, where did this change the color model? Uh, make sure it's on the HSV uh, color model. 
Um, in any case, I'm going to go ahead and change this. Uh, I'll rename this. Um, I want to make it a shade of another color. And it automatically brings up shade. Oh, and then I need to select the right one, theme color three. All right, and now it says shade of theme color three. Now, my the easiest way I can do this for me is shade minus one of theme color three. All right, so it's one one to the left of the main theme color. This is my annotation, but you can do this however you want. Um, and then click create, and I want to click the next one and do the exact same steps. I don't know why these are all HSV, but are not HSV, but I can grab them all and make them HSV, and I'll do the same here. Well, it's probably, if I do that, there you go. In any case, that'll save me that step going forward. Well, I thought it would. In any case, that's not doesn't seem to be working anyway. I'll, I guess I can't save that step, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that one and name it. And it's still clicked. I just need to make sure I pick theme color three. I'm always pick theme color three because I'm all I'm basing all of these colors off of theme color three. That's what the color that I'm linking them all to. So theme color three. It says shade of theme color three. Shade, like I said, minus two for this one. Create, name it. Whoop. I'm not sure that this matters, but uh, it uh, it probably does. In any case, um, shade of theme color three. Shade minus three for theme color three. Create. Name it, make it theme color three, shade minus four for theme color three. Yeah. And one more, two more times, and then we're done with the with the minuses. Uh, making it to theme color three. Thankfully, already HSE. Shade of another color, theme color one. Yes. Made of. No, I want to be theme color one, shade of theme color three. Let's say shade minus six of theme color three. Create. Now, I don't want to do all of these, but I will do one more. And we'll go on the plus side just to show you how that, that works. Um, basically, it's the exact same thing um, when I name it. I'm just going to do always base it off theme color three, and then this will be shade. shade. Oops. Plus one of theme color three. That's my annotation in any case. Now, you see that I have these um, all linked up. Um, if I then were to change, if I drag the um, theme color three into here, and I change this, change this now. I've only linked these colors across, right? They all change with it. Yeah, and you can see them down in the in the uh, color bar at the bottom too, changing. All right, so let me undo that and get back to my original color. 
And that's more or less how you do it. Um, to save time, I am going to go ahead and skip forward a little bit and not name all these colors. I can go ahead and close this, and then you can just grab everything if you'd like. You can group it so it's easier to move and create a, another layer. Now, just on this, you can just go on the mouse, I'll pick one of these layers, it doesn't matter which one, and say new layer, and you can name it anything you want. Uh, I'll say this new name colors. Yeah. And if I click on this there, it's grouped now. And control X to, to delete it. Click on my new named colors layer. Control shift V, right? It's now it's on that layer. If I look at it, what's on that layer, you can just see those colors. And if I just made it invisible and locked, and uh, then it's going to be on this page and nobody can see it, you can't edit it, uh, it's all good. Now the last thing that you need to do to make sure that you can use this is you want to set up this page to be exactly like you want. So um, I'm going to delete a couple of these guidelines. I like to keep my guidelines set up with center guides and guides around the edges. Yeah, so you see I have the guidelines here and through the center of it. Um, I have my, uh, my ruler turned on, which is how I like it as well. And I will say page here so that it's centered. Um, I can close this so that's not... Actually, let me hit page again now that I've closed it. And that centers exactly in the middle of the page. Now remember, I only did these colors. So if I say file, or those are the only named colors. So I hit do file, uh, save template, and then choose whichever template I, I use. Now this one is, is my web page. It's uh, this one. Yeah. The uh, 955 pix present, or not, not presentation, sorry, 955 pix web page XGA yeah you can and I can leave it saved as, uh, as that same name and say use this default template and if I hit save yeah do you want to replace it yes and now anytime I uh, so I've completely deleted that page that page doesn't exist anymore anytime I hit new look all those colors are there, the ones that I've named. Now, one of the other things I like to do here is uh, change things around a little bit. So I, you can arrange the colors in order, um, which is something I didn't do before I saved it, but you can always go back and save again over your template name. Just wait for your little arrow to come up to place it exactly where you want. Got out of order somewhere here. Put that back. Right. And the almost white one. Yeah. And then I have them in order, just like these are in order. In any case, that is how you uh, you create colors and save them. And if I look on here, uh, see my new name colors are still on this layer here. And if I were to click it open, it's there. If I were to continue on like I had been and name the rest of the colors, those would appear here as well after I save my template. So that's how you do it. Uh, I hope uh, that's helpful and you've learned something. You can do this a second time with another set of colors. Um, and like I've done here, I've got two different sets. Uh, you can do it with 20 sets if you'd like. You know, uh, it, you can do it however you'd like. In any case, um, I hope that's helpful and that's how you produce a uh, set of your own named linked colors that you can always have available in any of the Zara products.